Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 51st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about arrays. Now, what is an array? I would define an array as a collection of variables of the same type. So, why would you want to use an array? If in a program you have uh, five variables that contain the same kind of information, then instead of declaring five different variables and uh, giving them values, what you can do is you can declare an array of five elements and then you can access each element within the array by using indexes right so we're going to learn how to do that in this tutorial and uh, i'm going to make a very simple program and as you can see using code blocks i've saved a file i've given it the name array.c on line one in this file i have my stdio.h header file on line two i have the main function declaration and uh, on line four i have uh, a declaration statement and you can make that out because uh, there is an int keyword there and uh, I have declared an array that has the name ARR and within square brackets I have mentioned the number of elements this array is going to hold right so the naming rules that you have for variables those rules apply to arrays as well right so you have to treat arrays as regular variables it's just that an array, an array is not just one variable but it is a collection of variables right so this array ARR is going to hold five integers right and the data type of all the variables is going to be the same and uh, I have given five values to the elements in the array and uh, I have done that by using the curly braces convention right so you have to put an equal to symbol like you do when you assign values to normal variables and then within curly braces you have to type in the elements that you want to store in the locations that are held by the array right so I want 5 to be stored in the first memory location 10 to be stored in the second memory location 15 in the third 20 in the fourth and 25th in the fifth right so all these are integers right and uh, on the next line I have uh, a printf statement and I have five actually in my program and these printf statements are going to display the values that are stored in the array right so in this tutorial we are going to check out how to uh, declare an array and how to initialize it and also how to access the individual elements within the array and that's that's all we're going to do in this tutorial and uh, you can do a lot of other cool things using arrays and we're going to check some of the features of arrays in the coming tutorials but in this tutorial if we absorb this much information then it would be fantastic so the first printf statement displays the first value and obviously I'll have to use the percentage d format specifier in each of my printf statements because all the values are integers and to access the first element I am going to type in the name of the array which is ARR and then within square brackets I have to type the index of the first element right and in C the indexes begin from zero right so that's a rule so if you're accessing the first element then within square brackets you won't type one but you would type zero and obviously for the second one you'll have to type one for the third one you'll have to type two for the fourth one you'll have to type 3 and for the fifth one you'll have to type 4 so you know don't get confused because of this just know that if you're accessing the first element then the index of that element is going to be 0 instead of 1 right so that's a rule and uh, let me run the program and show you guys the output and there you see in the output window I get first element in the array is 5 second is 10 third is 15 fourth is 20 and fifth is 25th so there are different ways in which you can store values in an array and there are also a lot of ways in which you can access the elements within the array and we're going to check out some of the variations of doing what we've done in this tutorial in the coming tutorials but for this one this is all I wanted to discuss so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon.